Good morning from Koh Samoy. Our hostel arranged a scooter rental for us. It got dropped off and it's only 180 baht per day, which is $7.20. That's the cheapest we found anywhere on these three islands. On top of that, we then went and got a fill up on fuel, which was by far the cheapest that we've ever got it. It was just 80 baht, so $3.20. And on top of that, we've been able to enjoy the best road surfaces that we've been able to ride on so far. And that's considering the fact that we've got a bike on, what, about seven different occasions, something like that. So this is definitely proving to be a good start. It's very clear after driving to our first stop today, which is called Hinland Waterfall, that Koh Samoy is probably the most built up island we've been to without a shadow of a doubt. Most definitely, but with that comes better infrastructure, so we might be able to enjoy this a bit more. As I mentioned, we are here at Hin Lad Waterfall, and I believe it's a little bit of a hike up to see it. We're 10 minutes into our hike and already this is proving to be much nicer than Khao Ra. I think this is exactly what we were hoping for Khao Ra to have been if you watched our previous video. It's been a pretty relaxed walk up to now and just got to be in amongst nature, which is just perfect. I'm really enjoying it because as Nick alluded to, it's much gentler. Of course, there's still tree roots and rocks to navigate, which makes it interesting, but it's certainly not as steep. It's a very, very gentle incline. And we're walking alongside a river. And so you can hear the sounds of the stream. And it's just kind of like one of those tapes that you listen to, like a nature tape to put you to sleep or to relax you during a massage. It's really, really nice. We are here! And it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. We've been kind of given sneak previews of how nice it would all be as we took this trail up here, but now that we're here, it, it's just mind blowing. It's amazing. I just love this. This is what every hike should be. It was slightly challenging, like 
if you have an injury, you're probably not going to want to do this trail, but it's not difficult to the point where you can't appreciate the natural beauty and enjoy the walk. You're just treated to this lovely water feature at the top. And I believe you're actually able to get in the water too. So it's great because you can cool down from the heat. And the other amazing thing, this was free. Didn't cost a penny. Makes it all the better, really. You can just appreciate nature as intended. How awesome do we look right now? So the reason that we're dressed so stylishly is because we were literally on our way to the beach when it started bucketing it down with rain. And so we've had to pivot. Pivot! And rearrange. We decided to come to 7-Eleven, our savior, grab some lunch, go back to the hostel, and kind of just wait it out and see what the weather does. And so that's what we're doing now. Good morning. Yesterday we did nothing else after we had lunch because it just poured the rest of the day. I think it's some kind of rainy season here in the south. Unfortunately, yeah, and we've been caught right in the middle of it. But we will continue to do whatever we can despite the rain. So we are headed to Wat Prayai Temple because apparently there is a big statue of Buddha there, among many other really interesting things. So we are going to start off on that and anything else will be a bonus. Yeah, the forecast for today is not promising, so we're just going to have to play it by ear. Let's go. Wat Phra Yai has been used as a burial site for centuries, but this big Buddha was only added in the last 50 years. Construction on this was started in 1972, completed it in 1974, and so this 12 meter statue behind me took two years to be constructed in total. We've seen so many big Buddhas on our journey through Southeast Asia, and this one seems just as grand and impressive, but it's really made me think about what all the Buddha poses are, because we have seen so many of them, and now I'm super intrigued to know what all the hand positions mean. So I think I need to do more research into that, or if anyone knows, write it in the comments below because I really want to learn what they're referencing or what they're um, symbolizing. I'm intrigued. But definitely beyond that though, this is a lovely place to have come. Not only is the setting obviously very peaceful, the statue of the Big Buddha as well as the Little Buddha surrounding it is very impressive. But I think what's also great is the fact that you get an amazing view of the rest of Koh Samoy from this area as well. You could probably just watch that for hours as well. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, the great news is parking seems to be free and entrance seems to be free as well. So you can basically enjoy this at your leisure. Yeah, it's quite small, but because it's free, like even if you just come here for 15, 20 minutes, no problem at all. Seems worth it to me. I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of the day because it is so overcast and climbing waterfalls is very dangerous when the rocks get slippery and I feel like it's a bit risky to go to the beach right now because it could pour down at any time but we also want to do something so I think we're gonna have a little chat and try and figure something out because there's so much on this island that we still want to do but a lot of the activities are outdoors so TBD. You'll find out soon enough. We 
decided to come to Chao Wang Beach, which I think is the largest beach here in Koh Samui. We found a place called Lost Bar and we have settled here on their bean bags, ordered ourselves some mango juices, and we're just gonna enjoy it until we can't anymore because of the weather. <laughs> We got some quality beach time in and Rachel was getting a little bit hungry so we decided to leave and actually it ended up being the right decision because it started raining almost immediately afterwards. So we have obviously been going to 7-Eleven quite a lot since we got on this island because we haven't really seen like a good affordable option for Thai food but we asked the hostel owner as to a recommendation. She recommended this place. I think it's called Luca Kitchen. It looks like there's Pad Thai for 60 baht, so just over two dollars. So we're gonna give that a try. Look at this spread they brought out. It's not even just the Pad Thai. There's soups and condiments and more cucumbers and vegetables and chili. Can't wait. For one veggie Pad Thai and one Pad Thai with chicken, that was 140 baht, so just done with six dollars per pair of us, which was amazing value, considering that you also got a free soup rolled in and some extra veggies if you wanted to spruce up your dish as well. So yeah, all in all, very, very good value, and if you're up for a more authentic Thai experience, then this would be the place to come. We're now going to head home and crack on with some work and then try and figure out what we're going to do with our youth next. Good morning. We have left our hostel, and as you can probably see behind us, we're at 7 Eleven yet again. We're on our way to Namuang Waterfall and there's apparently one waterfall that is kind of just right off the road and another one that you can hike 30 minutes up to. However, it has just started raining. The thing is, when we left it was overcast and we don't want to be all cooped up and not attempting to try things so that's why we set off. We're about halfway to Namuang now and Really the only thing to do is just to get there and see how things play out. It is dangerous to climb on the slippery rocks when it's raining. So I figure at the very least we'll be able to see the first waterfall even if we aren't able to go to the second one. We're just going to try our best over here. That's all we can do. <laughs> Absolutely. See how things shake out. We've arrived. I'd initially put some iced coffee into this cup which had this lid on it. Unfortunately this lid came off of this cup mid-ride and I could do nothing about it so the remainder of this coffee has gone into this bag. And since I've got a straw, which is, tastes the same, thank god. give you an indication as to just how powerful this one is. This is definitely the largest, most powerful and biggest one we've seen in quite a while. I would definitely compare it kind of to Niagara Falls in Canada. This is obviously not as large by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely the most comparable waterfall that we've seen on our travels so far in terms of power and grandeur to Niagara Falls. I mean, the very fact that it has its own mist, it should really demonstrate just how epic this actually is. Apparently this is between 30 and 40 meters high and creates a basin that's about 20 meters wide. So it's definitely not a small one, is it? No, it's quite sizable. And it's very, very impressive. Like, obviously, 
coming through in the driving rain is not the best, but actually by having the rainfall, that then adds to the waterfall and adds to the water that's coming down. So it actually helps make it a bit more impressive, which is nice. Yeah, it's added to the atmosphere of it all. Absolutely. And this is free to do. You do have to pay 20 baht for parking, so yeah. under one Canadian dollar. Yeah. But considering the fact that there's also a second waterfall, which is about a 30 minute hike away, then I don't think that that's too bad. We are gonna go find out some more information about how to get to the second waterfall and see if it's safe for us to do in the rain, because obviously we'd really like to do it, but safety is our priority. So we're gonna go do a little research and decide. We've driven about five minutes to a different parking lot that's specific for Namuang waterfall number two. Apparently this is closer, so we might not have to hike as far. But we're still a little unclear as to whether it's going to be dangerous or not, so let's just find out. Thanks so much, this is seemingly a paved road so far. And it does look like we could have maybe biked this, but we had no real idea based on people's descriptions, because what is rideable to one person isn't necessarily rideable to another. And thankfully it is still walkable. So that's okay. At this point, we're about halfway there, according to the maps. So we might as well just carry on. Somehow that was even more spectacular. With the first one, it feels like you're very much kind of at the plunge pool of the main part of the waterfall. Whereas with this one, then you're further down. So you get to see all of the different layers that make up that second waterfall. And for that reason, then you get to see way higher up and you get to see so many more kind of different formations made as a result of the waterfall. And it just makes it that much more spectacular really very impressive stuff i'm really glad we ended up coming to the second waterfall here we could have definitely driven in a bit closer but the hike up was not bad at all i don't even think it was half an hour it was all on paved road so if you want to walk just walk it the path once you get off the main road is a little bit confusing but it's really not that difficult to find the waterfall and yeah, we haven't been charged for parking or entrance here, so let's hope that we're not stopped on the way back down. As we were walking down from the second waterfall, it just started pouring rain, so I think we're gonna call it a day here because there's no way we're going to a beach now and driving back in this, it's gonna be 40 minutes of absolute torture for Nick and he's just done such an amazing job of driving, but yeah, this isn't gonna be fun for him. And in true Kosamoy fashion, it absolutely has been bucketing it down for the rest of the day, which hasn't been the best. And I think that's just unfortunately been the theme of this, but that still really hasn't taken away from our enjoyment of what we've been able to do. Because fundamentally, this is still a great island to visit. We've really enjoyed what we've been able to. It's obviously a shame about the weather, but if anything, it just means that we got some more stuff to pick up the next time. Yeah, we definitely had more to see on our list, but of course the weather put a damper on that, but what we did see was absolutely lovely. We have a pretty epic journey to take us up to our next part of Thailand. So we will probably start on that in a new video. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Mm -hmm.